Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 4 as a survival difficulty ghoul cannibal character. Welcome to Sanctuary Hills. We now have defenses. Yes, we do. We have two guard towers. Or, uh, it's a guard tower. And a gate. A gate that ever so slightly clips through the, the bridge, but disregard that. Uh, if McCready could please... Um, Sir, would you would you please thank you? I'll now demonstrate how effective this gate is. You for the life of me you cannot jump on that side nor can you go on this side. Which means that any and all raiders that attempt to breach into sanctuary that are coming from this direction are royally screwed. Because they're going to be shot from up there and up there. I don't have the materials yet to build a, um, uh, you know, any defense turrets here. But when we do get certain provisioners running and, and stuff, then uh, it will be glorious, I assure you. Now, for some reason, I can't eat this person. I believe it's because I ate him too many times or something like that. It's basically, he should be a pile of bones, but uh, the game doesn't recognize that or something. This is going to be a little, a little bit, just a little bit of a shorter episode compared to the previous ones. Um, could you please stop acting? Okay, what the hell is going on with my pit boy? There we go. I've, re I've regained control of the pit boy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clear Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Set up a bed there, sleep, and end. And basically, that's that's where the um, end of this episode's journey will be. But that is not all that happened. I scavenged around a little bit and worked around on the settlement in general, slightly sort of cleaning it up, building some buildings and stuff like that. It's not done yet, but regardless, I also upgraded this rifle, and now it has slightly better sights and is much, much more powerful. It's now the most powerful weapon in my arsenal, and I have a crap ton of ammo for it, so really there is nothing that could go wrong. That said, I need you guys' feedback on something before we, um, you know, this is a bit out of character, but hey. I need you guys' feedback on the following. There is a mod that tunes survival difficulty. Essentially, all that I want to do is enable saving. Quick saving. But, I'm not going to quick save anywhere else other than in um, settlements and near beds. Maybe in bars and stuff like that where you can sit down and rest, because that makes thematic sense. Okay, I want to roleplay this, but sleeping for, for you know to save is... A little bit stupid, I'm sorry. I understand the idea and the concept, but you shouldn't have to sleep physically in order to save. For example, I slept and I woke up with insomnia. I, I shouldn't have slept, right? I should have just saved and kept on going. There's stuff like that that makes it a little bit irritating, and the fact that I need to find a bed and sleep in it for, you know, a couple of hours. Oh, God. Okay, let's see how good the weapon is right now, right? Fairly good. I, that's that's good in my books. That is fairly fairly oh, decent. To have fun. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, radiation's okay. I'm a ghoul. Though you should really take some radix or something. Uh, so I would not save like in the middle of nowhere like here. That that wouldn't make any sense, right? But I would save occasionally, more often, and. I don't think anyone would lose anything, but I don't think the experience overall, the survival difficulty experience would be, would be, um, changed, because of course I wouldn't touch, um, food, I wouldn't touch combat, none of that, no, no, just the saving. I would like to do that, um, or would I? I'm not entirely sure, I need to, I would like to, to see what you guys think, because I, it would be definitely a lot better for recording purposes. Because no longer would I have to stop exactly, you know, while... Oh, God! What is with the boat flies? Bloat flies, sorry. There's a legendary one as well. Really? 
Mutated, really? McCready! <laughs> Help! That's how we Never mind, I got here. them. Where was I? Oh yes, uh, I'm actually near the settlement. Is it really that quick? Oh, it's just there, right. I, uh, for some reason expected to get sidetracked along the way, and yeah, we're gonna do more than just that. We're gonna do, we're gonna do more this episode, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but I, I, I would like some feedback on that. <clears throat> yes, I would. Um, in the meantime, though, focus on the immediate right now. Uh, try and get a, a, well, a jump on whatever is in here, because it says clear it out, which I, I assume means there's stuff in it, right? I know what, this is a gorgeous place. It absolutely, this is a gorgeous place, look at it. Yeah, I could... Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this place. Feral Ghoul. Oh, uh, dear. Hmm. Actually got the drop on him. Interesting. I mean, I got the drop on him and didn't alert anyone, which is a bit... Oh! That is a robot. That is absolutely a robot. McCready! Okay. Stop it with the disappearing act. Stop it with the disappearing act. Me and him had a little bit of a situation off camera. Not need to see, but... I mean, it was, it was nowhere near the level of Preston Garvey sexual abuse, but... Uh, it was... <clears throat> oh, hello. Professor Goodfields, I somehow think a robot named Professor Goodfields is not the most dangerous of enemies one can face. Matter of fact, I don't believe that such a robot could be an enemy to begin with. Sweet. Alright. Uh, I'm doing this just to charge up the criticals, and then he realizes that he already has the crit meter full. Alas. Alas. I didn't mean to sit. Oh, God, no. Uh, get, get up, please. You're embarrassing yourself. Uh, if I walk in Stimpak, Bourbon, or is useful paint can, useful. There's a bed in here already, so... I wouldn't... I don't even have to, uh... To go through the trouble of making one. Hello? Uh, 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 okay? Uh huh. That was weird. Okay, I feel like it's cheating a little bit, but uh... wait, what? Oh. <laughs> this game becomes a little bit trivial when you get a good assault rifle. Sorry, combat rifle or assault rifle. Um, it is my secret to survival mode. It is. It absolutely is. I should um, should have mentioned this previously, maybe. But uh, semi-automatic combat rifles are the most overpowered piece of kit in the game. Of course, I'm not counting any legendary weapons and stuff like that, because their effects can be funny and game-breaking at times. A bit besides the point, though. In terms of, you know, everyday weaponry and equipment, uh, this thing, you cannot beat it. I went through literally the entirety of the game with one well-upgraded uh, combat rifle on the survival difficulty of old. A 
up here? Uh, okay. I uh, was just following the quest markers, I suppose I might as well. Oh, the door is locked. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, you, you can... Maybe it wasn't locked. Okay, let's give the game the benefit of the doubt and uh, assume the door was not locked. Um, I'm getting pretty good in bats as well with this thing. I mean, my perception is... Eh? Huh? Not that great. You think. Build and activate the recruitment bacon. Um, subtle reference to a YouTuber that no longer does, uh, well, YouTube. Anyways. A settler. Right. Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. Uh, damn, that thing is heavy. Uh, okay, I'm boxing naturally. Brain fungus. Eh? Oh! Hello. Lightweight but rest Raider chest piece. Apparently it's very good, so let's take it. Hardened Chinese assault rifle! Two of them! Yes, please. And ammunition for my favorite gun. And this. Okay, give it all to me. Um, and a cap stash. Right. I have good Need news something? for you. We shall um, give you one of the two Chinese assault rifles. And um, I left the Kalash, actually. Yes, I did. I left most a lot of my equipment that I'm not using back in Sanctuary, but um, I'm thinking about trying out the Chinese assault rifle, to be honest. And I think I nearly bought the bloody thing. <laughs> it is good. I like these. Uh, you can have my metal hey, stuff. What do you want? Yeah, you can have these. So what do you have? You have a um, lightweight painter uh, left leg. What do you have? You have just a regular metal left leg. Take this and uh, take this as well. And those two, I suppose we can sell, but they're completely worthless. So I don't know. We'll we'll find a use for them. I hope. Junk, a uh, fair bit of it. Let's crawl our way to the um, yeah. Let's crawl our way to the workshop. But before we do that, Chinese assault rifle. Hmm. I don't want to shoot it because I don't have any ammo. Am well, I do have some ammo for it, but. Uh, Tell you what, we mod this thing, we mod the hell out of it, and maybe, just maybe, we uh, use it eventually. Because I'm thinking, oops, I'm thinking the 45 caliber would be the combat rifle, right? And that's a very, very powerful weapon. The Kalash can fire 308, 556, you know, whatever. Uh, and we've unlocked the settlement, which is good. We can store all our junk in it. Where's the robot? Uh, I need to... Yeah, before we deal with the robot... I say deal with the robot. I don't want to do anything to him, but uh, before we... Interact with the robot, maybe a better better choice of word. Oh, terminal. Uh, let's... let's... You know, put, store away our stuff somewhere, but before that, races. Three, okay. Pix. Uh, it can't be Pix. Betty. Uh, no, it can't be Betty. Baton. One, nope. Raised. Could be raised. Two. So, it's C and S. C and S. C and S. S. Wait, hold on. So if raised has two, it doesn't have to be C and S. It totally doesn't have to be C and S. Oh dear. 
Let's do with, let's go with talk snow, find snow, false. No. Actually, hold on, false. No. James. There we yep, go. James, there we go. Mr. Handy Control. Uh, protocol. Just B protocols. Guard protocols. Return for maintenance protocols. Just B protocols. Return for maintenance. Oh, you're not going... Ah. Well, you know what? Since we know where you're going, because i got a map update, um, <coughs> feel free to go there and I will find you one day. And I guarantee you, that I bet you any money you want, that as soon as I find you, I'm going to completely forget that you were ever a part of this um, beautiful journey that we have. But, hey. Uh, there is hopefully a silver lining and all that. Uh, McCready, come here, I have a gift for you. One that you probably hey. don't like. Well. You seem like the type of person that likes guns. Stop walking away from me! I know, I know, I'm not the most pleasant person in the Commonwealth, but... Time to split up the loop. Have some decency to at least talk to me. Okay. This thing is... <laughs> oh, that thing is heavy. Uh, right. Keep them. Keep them, just don't actually use them. You actually do use them, because you don't use ammunition for the rifles, do you? Uh, well... Let's go and let's go and do something else. Time to die! Punching the living shit out of, out of a rad roach with my bare fists was not what I originally had in mind, but you know. Might as well, now that we're here. Uh a recruitment beacon, you said. Yes, we shall build a recruitment beacon eventually. We don't have any any materials to do that though. Well, we do have materials. We don't have the um required materials for that. So, I recommend that we use the little time on this world that we have, which is about... Ugh, there's, there's, tons, there's tons of time left. Um, let's go and explore. Like, there's... Oh, that is so... Uh, that is... No, that is bad. That is bad. Bad. Throw the phone away. It may or may not have landed on the floor after it bounced off the window. So, don't, don't do that. Do not do what I just did. Brighter topics. Exploration. Okay. Exp I now know, though on the other hand, I now know why they have pit boys instead of... Uh... I should have slept. There's a Brahmin there. It looks like civilization. Could be ghouls as well, and if it's a legendary ghoul, we are screwed. Oh, military. Uh, you know what? Screw this. Better part of valor. Better part of valor, gentlemen. Better part of valor. Why do you not say ladies? Um, because there's no ladies around. Just two dead skeletons and me and McCready. I'm pretty sure we're both male. I mean, I was last time I checked. Bed, bed. You see, this is why I don't think beds is a very, very sensible idea. Safe spots, sure, but beds? Uh, no. See, now I have to lose an hour of sunlight to save, which you might think is a is a fair trade-off, but really, saving and time passing by does not have anything in in common. It really doesn't. So, I'm thinking enabling quick saves just for moments like that. Anyways, back into character. Corn. We need corn. Uh. Oh, McCready! McCready, listen, listen. Imagine we get this thing going again. 
Yo, imagine that for a second, that we, me and you, Wait. Okay, okay. We'll imagine stuff later. Right now... Your friends are down there, mate. Ah, I say your friends. Your former friends are down Tractor. there. Oh. Really? That's all? From a crit? 62 damage in total and... Okay, that looked like yeah, it hurt. Okay. I won't complain too much. That was a bloody Molotov. That was a bloody Molotov, and I'm on half health. It's, uh... Reanalyze the approach vector, as they say. Is that you? I nearly shot your brains off. I'm going to go ahead and guess that they're up there, but... It's like I didn't see where the Molotov came from, and I usually have a good eye for those things. He lied to his audience. Uh, but no, seriously, sometimes I do. Most of the time I do. I don't know, sometimes I do, fair enough. It looked like it came from above, as in I didn't see where it came from, so it was probably from straight up there. Uh, we could go and clear it out, you know, we have about, what, ten minutes left of the video? Yeah. I mean, we have like ten minutes of sunlight left, which is equally true. Can we even get up there with it? Uh, I don't think we can. Nope, we cannot. Don't break all my legs falling from the bridge. No. Bad idea. There is there there is that other gunner to loot though, so let's um just do that. Thinking McCready shot him somewhere over here. Ah, there we go. Feed himself. No, yeah, fair enough. Roger's Authority is still one of my better weapons. Mind you, it's not that great, but it is one of my better ones, so um, I can mod it a little bit maybe, but I don't really have the know-how to do that. There is this chapel here, and I'm hoping that we find some useful things in it. Useful and not dangerous to the health of the one who finds them. Raider right arm, I don't like it. You just... You just step on a skeleton and... Mind you, you're probably right, there's no real point to being sneaky. I mean... We literally just shot up that in entire general area of the highway, chances are people have heard it, eh? Federal ration stockpile, what the hell is in here? One has got to wonder, um... They say it is curiosity that killed the cat, I say it's the drunk... Raider... ...with his sword-off shotgun, but, uh... What do I know, right? Dude! Dude. Is all I'm saying. Oh, let's begin! Uh, oh, do you know what? I'm feeling... Never mind, never mind, never mind. Because I thought we had frag... Um... Mines, we don't. What the hell was that? Which makes me think I probably should have brought some along, but uh, let's pull back a little bit and. Uh, Nothing there now. No, that's too much. What do you think? Like I this, know. and then we can go jump into okay. shadows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know right. you're here. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Gentlemen, and. Don't start talking crazy. 
and throw a laser like that. Let me introduce you to the death corridor. This is a corridor where you are going to die. This is a corridor where death resides. Sure you saw something? You know what, I think the exploded turret and the corpse in front of it, give it away, mate. Where'd that little fucker go? That hit the pillar instead of the uh, huh? back end of that room, so to say, but... I'm amazed that they can't see me, I mean... Imagine Come if I actually out. paid attention to stealth. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust Safety me. off. I think we have company. Really? You think we have company? Really? You think? I like you. I really do. I like you. You don't mind when I eat people. You don't mind when I steal things. But sometimes... Sometimes, just... Okay, so what the fuck is the red Tourette? Password. Very useful, one would imagine. Bullets. Kind of useful. Spiked armor, that's the one that you wear across your entire body and you can't... Yeah, that's... it's bad. Probably have tons more protection just with this on. Um, yeah, he said protection. Oh, shut up. We make this into a settlement. Oh. I mean, we might as well, right? Shit. I swear I heard. Is that all? Is that seriously everything in here? I mean, it works and don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. But, uh... Seems a bit, I don't know, weak. Our surgery is very, very useful. Drum roll, please. Night Vision 45 by Sniper Rifle. Eh. Sort of have been there Heads done up. that situation. Yeah, what is Come it? here. Uh, my uh, junk. There we go. D and. Armor. Oh, you know what would be nice? A bed right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, this place. We are moving in here, mate. US Excellent. Covert Operations Manual. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. I think going I'm going to, to break the game with sneaking. I mean, already they're kind of stupid. To my big sister. I'm going to read these, actually, because I'm interested. Because I don't think I've ever seen these. You've got to send me more of those snack cakes, otherwise Tom says he's going to chop me to bits. I'm scared. He's a real intimidating guy. Please, send more cakes. Think of your sister, me. Help, please. Lily. Red, it's Lily. I don't know how much longer they're going to let me live if you keep sending those lousy supplies. Delivered eggs? Come on. My life's on the line here, Red. Heard, I'm assuming that, no, I heard, okay, I heard them talking about what they're going to do to me if the next shipment doesn't have better stuff. It ain't good. No more eggs. Really. Don't worry, sis. I don't know what happened. Damn it, I'm sorry, sis. I don't know what happened. I was covering the entrance like you told me. We had Tower Tom's little maggots on the run, then blam. I remember a face full of plaster, then nothing. When I woke up, I was here in Beantown. Brewery. With Tower Tom's ugly mug grinning at me. They've been good to me so far, but I only think it's because they want our food. Don't give them a thing, sis. I'll find a way out of here. A little. And you know what I'm thinking? Lily is in cahoots. With, uh. 
this Tom guy. Matter of fact, I bet you any money, well, no, I bet you half of the caps that I have on me that they're in cahoots. Now, I'm sorry, Lily, if I ever find you, I am probably going to have to bro blow your brains out because I just ate your sister. Well, I shot her first, so I suppose there's there's some, it's, it's at least a little bit humane, but, uh, yeah, remind me if we find a person called Lily to shoot her because, um, as soon as she finds out that someone ate her sister, I'm a bit in I mean, I'm in a bit of danger, shall we say. But that will be all for this episode. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.